always fascinated with these construction cranes. Today especially, I'm fascinated with them because the hurricane's coming and the building I'm staying in is within falling distance of these structures. My friend Kristen and I are out here taking a look, inspecting the situation just to just to make a decision if we're going to leave to find shelter somewhere else or if we're going to stay here. There's a lot of things sitting around this construction site that will be airborne, surely, with the type of winds that we're projected to get here in St. Pete. One last look at the rooftop and the gondola, the famous historical gondola at the Detroit Hotel. And the Janus stage, Let's see if that is still here after the hurricane. Between those two roofs, the brown one and, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. Friends, it is a kind of stressful situation here trying to decide if that tower or that that crane is going to fall on that building over there possibly deciding can we survive here in this hot time in summer without air conditioning yes we can do we want to no no we don't some of you may think that maybe that's a little selfish well, I ask you this question. Have you experienced summertime in Florida without air conditioning? It's, it's just better with it. So we're, we're seriously contemplating leaving town. But then again, we're also thinking we are, we are able-bodied people, willing and able to help in situations like this. If we left town, we might miss an opportunity to be of assistance in a time of emergency. And if we know we're going to be safe here, then it's kind of a sacrifice that we can make to be able to be here and ready, available, as able-bodied people. This may not go for everybody, people with children and, you know, families that they need to be responsible for and get them out of town. I, obviously, yes, that's a different story, but we're just people that are able, willing, maybe, I don't know. And I'm coming to you from a very unique location right now, the stage of Janus Live. Lots of you notice this area back here, but I am actually on stage, front and center, to tell you that I'm safe here during the hurricane I previously made a post on Facebook saying that the kite van, the fantasy van, was packed and ready to go. It is, but it's going to stay right here. I'm safely parked on the seventh floor of a parking garage. I am safe in the building that I'm in. It's the oldest building in St. Pete, survived many hurricanes, decided weighing the options, even though there's some large construction cranes right out back here. We are protected by one building in between. We think that it's going to be okay and we're gonna be on a lower floor in a safe room in an old elevator shaft, totally protected from the storm on a second floor. So even if water rises, we're gonna be fine. We have plenty of food, plenty of water. There's a group of people here. Most of the people in the building are staying around and hanging out in the building. Also, the main reason that we're going to stick around is we are able-bodied people. If things go south and people need assistance and volunteers are needed, we are all people that are able to do that. We're going to be right here when it happens. I have tools in the van. I'm prepared for many different situations. Thank you all for your concern. Thanks for reaching out, making sure that I was okay and that all the friends are safe and praying for all of us. It's very much appreciated. But we are safe. We're going to be right here. I'll get you updates when the storm happens. Should be tomorrow night. We got plenty of time. It's a beautiful day. 
in St. Petersburg, beautiful St. Petersburg, Florida. Wish us luck, shoot one up for us, a prayer that is, and I'll get back with you a little later on. Here's a unique view of the catwalk and the stage behind the Janus. You see all these famous artists walking right up these steps. This is what it looks like. Here's the catwalk and the green room right is right back there. We have a couple suites that the, that the artists hang out on. This is it. Pre-Hurricane Irma, Central Avenue. These look like they've already been in a hurricane. We just heard that the Publix is going to be closing down pretty soon. We're going to make one last run and see if there's anything that we can possibly need just in case we need it I don't know what there could be they're out of water out of a lot of things batteries I don't know what we're really looking for but we're just trying to be super prepared common sign we're seeing around town all the, the places are starting to shut down so strange even the mail has been closed down in the area. It is such a strange feeling to be in a place like this where it's a beautiful day out, the weather's nice, it's pretty hot, but it's a nice day and it's almost like a ghost town around here. There's hardly any traffic out. A lot of the buildings are being boarded up. The, rest, the only restaurants available to go to are, happen to be on the block that we're staying at. and. It's just a weird, a weird feeling around here. Everyone's talking about the weather. It's a very odd thing for this, this part of the world. Wow. Yeah, the best, the best jazz place around here. And this is what's happening. Taking those tables. Making sure nothing happens here. We did find one place that's open. Same people. Chairs are inside. Only a couple days. Only a couple days. Creative way. I'm not gonna lie. I think it was cover the windows. Hopefully, the central cigars will be okay. Friends uh, had a day of preparation, getting friends together, preparing what we have for the, the storm. Just got out of the shower and looking around for some food so we don't have to use our own rations that we have. The only place available on the block is this pizza place. The line's pretty long, but we're going to wait in line anyway. Get food from somewhere else besides home until the storm starts. Right. The line just keeps going. I mean, we got in line, there's already all these people behind us. It's crazy. 
Guys, you know I'm always trying to get on television. Bay News Night is here. I'm hoping if I stick around long enough, I can get my way into the frame of a TV camera. Maybe not, but I'm hoping. I think the chances are pretty high that that gets to happen. I don't know. We'll see. Wide open right now. We know Ryan Pye. They got. They say they're going to keep some of these pizzas until they run out, whatever time that will be. Yeah. You see, they're all here now. You guys are supposed to be evacuated, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. What are you still doing here? We're having pizza. <laughs> Uh, so why, why did you like it? Are you going to leave eventually? Uh, no, we're going on riding out. Uh, our house right now is kind of right outside the zone evacuation area. Okay. Of the okay. Um, so we kind of opened our house up to whoever kind of needs a friends and family who need a place to stay that already evacuation zone to have the ability to get out. Oh, okay. This has to be like the best comfort food period. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I work knocking on your okay. door, I can think of no better place to be. That's a Bay News 9 special? There you go. Yeah, oh, yeah that's love. That's love right there. That's easy. How many, how many pies you got left? Maybe 30. Maybe 30. So they say they'll stay open as long as they've got products to sell after they're sold. They're closed down until permanent gets out of here. But right now, I'm going to get out. <laughs> Recording on for Trevor Pettiford, baby, he's dying. I'm taking this one. Friends, before I say goodnight on this stressful day, a friend gave me a little tip. Something that I might want to show you guys. Up here in the parking garage, a lot of people have brought their special vehicles, and I almost felt like I was going back in time when I saw this sweet thing. Only my favorite vehicle of all time, except for a Volkswagen camper van, which might be in your future as well. Check this thing out, man. This is so mint condition. For its sake, I wish it wasn't parked so close to the elements. Friends in Florida, friends in Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, friends in Texas, all friends affected by this storm, the last storm, the next one to come, my heart's with you. And before I say goodnight, I'll give you one more special treat. A unique time here in the parking garages where people have brought their they're nice vehicles for protection. We're so lucky to have this. Check this out. Wow, huh? Check it out. Like James Dean himself drove it in here and parked it. Or Brad Morgan, where's he at? Not driving this one, but what a cool ride anyway. And a matching, looks like a matching stand-up paddleboard for just in case. This guy's ready. Or girl. Whatever. Nice ride. Yeah, it's a beauty. Well, friends, until tomorrow, happy flying.